你好，你们好吗 ？How are you guys? Today, continuing our food lessons, I would like to go over the fruit which you have learned before, but just in case it has been a little bit rusty. 苹果 repeat. 苹果，苹果。好吧，下一个 meaning next one. 草莓，草莓，草莓。下一个，橘子，橘子，橘子。下一个，西瓜，西瓜，西瓜。香蕉，香蕉。香蕉，梨子，梨子，梨子，好棒！凤梨，凤梨，凤梨，好棒！下一个，葡萄，葡萄，葡萄。好棒。Last but not least， 桃子，桃子，桃子，好棒。Can you guys tell me which ones, including 桃子 ，grow on trees？ 凤梨，梨子，香蕉，橘子。和苹果 ，all this circled fruit grow on trees, so they all have mu. This radical essential part in their writings, because mu is from the image of tree. So mu means tree. Mu is An essential part, we call that radical. Do you remember that? Now, I would like to, I would like you to circle mu on your worksheet. Find mu. Let's do it together now. So. We have, mu. From 苹果 we have a mu. 橘啊橘 we have sort of a mu. 啊香 we have a mu. Here, we also have a mu. From 凤梨 we have a mu. From 桃子 is that does that not make sense? Very good. Now I would like to ask. The rest, so the rest of them don't grow on trees, which means they are close to grass. Let's find the grass. So, grass is the essential part radical. This is called 草 It was from 草 like this before. Okay, so I know, 苹果 does grow on trees, but there's a 草 here because it's part part plant. Now 草莓 they both have this essential part for both characters, and many of you, especially girls, names your Chinese names have this 草 radical. Remember that, and then this also has a 草 in it. 葡萄 although 葡萄 grow on vines, but there's also 草 in it. Very good. Now, you can start working on your worksheet. Struggle. I'll talk to you soon. 再见